Welcome back to another video and today with the new Raptor from ASUS, ROG Raptor GT6. And GT6 mainly because it has Wi-Fi 6. Besides that, it also has mesh and it is a extendable router. Now, we will talk about that in just another video. Today, we are going to check out some of the features that this one has because it has so many that I will not be able to tell you all that it has. I will show you some images right over there so that I can spice up your curiosity but I will leave a link down below so that you can check all the specifications and everything that we can do with this router right over here because right now we are just going to take a look at the fun part which is coverage Wi-Fi speeds we are going to take a look at the software on the computer and also on the mobile phone and things similar to that now if you are watching this video on your Windows computer and still haven't activated don't forget to check out KeysFan where you can get official OM keys at an affordable price and with a coupon code that you can see on screen you will get an extra discount so just in case you want to check that out I will leave the link down below just next to the ROG Raptor GT6. Now inside the package we will have the router and we will have all the accessories that are necessary to have it working in no time. Design wise I think it's awesome and in my opinion when you look at it you will say this is ROG without any question whatsoever but at the same is not that aggressive that we cannot place it anywhere else unless it is a gaming setup but i do believe that on a living room or on a room it will look as nice because it's not that aggressive of course this is a personal opinion but i do love and the rgb is just a special touch we can configure it on our browser or we can change it on the mobile app on ios or android we can change the presets the colors and we can have it the way that we want and if we don't want to use we can also disable and have just the router like that without any rgb now in terms of connectivity we will find a 2.5 gigabit connection 3 1 gigabit connection a usb type a port which on the label says 3.0 but it is a 3.2 generation one which means that if we want to connect a external hard drive right over here we can do so and we can achieve great speed so we can transfer multimedia files across our devices without any issues whatsoever we also have a power on and off and a dc in connection in terms of the configuration it's really simple and it has followed what we have seen in the past from asus even someone that never used a computer before will be able to configure this and it just needs the phone in my particular case i prefer to use the browser and show you in a larger image we can select our language we will select the name of the network that we want and in my particular case for those that don't follow the channel what i usually do is i do choose to separate the wi-fi signals so that i can test out individually and then give you results of what we can achieve in terms of coverage and in terms of speed the regular usage you might want to choose just one network and then our laptop our phone will connect to the network that it's more stable and has a better speed depending on the location of the device then we will also choose username and password and in this particular case we had already a firmware update which is something normal on the lifespan of any device from asus to receive a lot of firmware updates that will improve the usage of the device now in terms of coverage and speed tests my internet connection has a limit of 500 megabits per second on download and 100 megabits per second on upload but the gt6 is able to achieve up to 4800 megabits per second on the wi-fi 5 gigahertz which i'm not able to test that out now i did connect my laptop with a one gigabit ethernet cable to the router i did create an open server speed test and with my phone i was able to achieve connected to the router roughly 900 megabits per second which is capping at one gigabit so just have in mind that when i do show you some results with the cap on the 500 megabits per second probably i could achieve much more up to 4800 megabits per second but this is the limitations of our tests 
That being said, let's start with the office right over here. So on this area, 40 square meters more or less, we could achieve without any surprises, 500 megabits per second download and 100 on upload. We go to the gym and cinema area. Uh, we have a few walls here on the way, so we were getting roughly 370 megabits per second download and 100 on uploads. Going to the backyard, which has only one wall separating and then it has an area of 200 square meters more or less, we were achieving 500 megabits per second on download and 100 on upload at the ends of the backyard, which was really cool. And this was on the 5 gigahertz, but on number 2. Two, which was, is on the different bands. When I did select number one, I was getting 400 megabits per second on download and 100 on upload. So there is a little bit of a difference and this is the reason that I do use all the network separators so that we can see the results that we get. I could also share that I was able to get here on the office where I was getting 500 megabits per second. On the 2.4 gigahertz, I was only getting roughly 145 megabits per second. But this is boring so I not even mention it because nowadays all our devices are capable of connecting to 5 gigahertz and some devices like smart home devices will connect to the 2.4 but those don't really need that speed and on the room that is right on top of the office i was getting 500 megabits per second download and 100 on upload even though it has the concrete and iron and so on and so forth this is not the first time that we are achieving this result with the asus router so no surprises right over here the first time that i did find a limitation was on the floor above the office but at the other opposite of the house where we have the living room and it was getting roughly 20 megabits per second and only on the 2.4 gigahertz stuff so that was the first limitation that we had now i did went up another floor and just above the office two floors away we still are able to get the 2.4 gigahertz band at 10 megabits per second download more or less but when we go to the other end of the house we lose it completely we are able to see the signal but there is no internet connection there is no connectivity at all so just to sum up what we can achieve is in an area of 100 square meters plus 200 square meters we are okay so 300 square meters with these limitations of the walls and so on and so forth no issue at all if we are talking about one floor and this is a traditional Portuguese house concrete iron and so on and so forth really thick walls it's capable of doing this without any issues but when we are working on the diagonal where we get walls we will get the concrete we will get iron and so on and so forth that is when we are limited not only with this one right over here I still haven't had one single unit that was capable of passing this test when I do I will let you know for sure but if I was to go and use this on a real life situation what I would do is I would not place it right here because we are on a corner right on the end of the house and at the same time we are on the lowest floor so I would need to put it on the central place of my home and if I wanted to give a better coverage on a specific area of my house besides where this one already is I could connect a second unit and that unit could work on a mesh Wi-Fi or extendable router and for that I don't even need to put a exactly the same model I just need to use a unit from Asus that it's compatible with this one right over here and we have seen quite a few and we will see a few more so there is a lot of choice and the price range will go from really low from 60 euros more or less up to those more expensive ones now in terms of software so that we can wrap up
And if we don't want to use our computer, of course, all the options will be available on our mobile app. That being said, hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you did so, don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there, which is really, really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.